Hi everybody, I'm back for part two of the Owl on Canvas. So this is where we left off and it has got really dark outside, it is raining. So I've had to put my daylight lamp on so unfortunately that is going to cause a bit of a, a glare. Sorry about that. Okay, so there's where we left off on the last video. So I'm going to be giving him some blue i think or turquoise so i think i should start off with um desert turquoise and this again is americana deco art and i think we'll go for a lighter color so i'm going to add some white to this um and again i think i've put too much of that out oh dear oh dear oh dear now i've lost my white Paint. Oh, there we go. So I'm just going to mix up a little bit of colour here. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this white and a little bit of the turquoise and mix them together to get a light colour. Da, 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 da. That's right, you talk among yourselves while I do this. Right, okay, I've got a colour here. Oh, yummy, yummy. Okay, so I'm going to give him blue. It's got a lot of paint on there. I'm going to give him blue eyes on this light color so that's just that turquoise and white mixed together just lightens it up and of course I've got my teeny mini brush I'm just going to go around can you tell that I can't draw circles I tried to find something that was the right size and I couldn't find anything while I was drawing the owl this morning um, so I had to actually <laughs> draw them <laughs> And I am not good at drawing circles. Not good. So I don't know what you think about these type of videos. Would you like me to do more of these types? Or do you prefer just show and tells? Um, or journals? I haven't done a journal for quite a while. Uh, mainly because I, I've actually got quite a lot of them now and I'm not using them. So... Uh, they're just taking up space. But it would be interesting to know if you like these kind of videos. Um, I make a lot of backgrounds. <laughs> I really enjoy making backgrounds. And then they, they sit for quite a while because I can't decide what to put on them. Uh, but eventually, you know, inspiration strikes and I think oh that would be a good background for this project or that project uh, so yeah if you could let me know if you're interested in seeing more like this or if you prefer something else let's see I'm, I'm no expert but if you learn something or if it inspires you to do a similar project or something like that then yeah maybe that's, that's good so you can let me know in the comments below. That's made him look kind of, ooh. Definitely standing out then, his eyes. And that's why I think he's a boy, because he's got blue, blue, blue in him. And again with my slow little painting. I was never good at keeping inside the lines, even when I was a kid. Got to be a rebel. Paint outside the lines. Go wild. Yeah, pink horses. Blue elephants. Yeah. Right, okay, so I'm going to be going around that with um, markers, so 
I'm not too worried about it if there's any little lines or anything in that. So now I'm going to give him a bit of blue. I think I might do his, his eyelids blue, um, gold as well. I've got a thing with gold at the moment. You can like that. You've, you've got certain colours that you just want to keep using. For me, it was it was green. It was like these colours for a while. And then I went on to yellows and pinks and greens and pinks. And now I'm kind of just liking gold and sparkly things. All right, so I've got just the normal turquoise and I'm just going to do his beak in the darker shade. Lovely. And what shall we do now? I think I'll take more of this turquoise and I'm going to, uh, for those of a nervous disposition later on, if I get that far, I'm going to be cutting his tail off. Okay? So you have been warned. There is going to be owl cutting of tails. Right. So I'm just going to do this. Tail a bit of colour. Should have moved on to the bigger brush, but never mind. Let's see if we've got a bigger one here that I like. This one will do. You find that you have favourite brushes as well. It's like you've got like a ton of brushes but you only use like the same couple i like my little one and i like my big one i like my stencil br um, bristle brush and i've got one of those fan um, paint splatter brush things and that's the ones that i tend to use the most I just keep going back to the same ones Yeah, I will need to pick the little brush. As again, I go to the bigger brushes. I just can't really control it very well. But since I'm going to be cutting his tail off anyway, I can always go back and change it. It's no problem. Right. I think I'm going to move to that little brush just to Finish that bit there. You can see this. Yep. Thing with his feet. Right. And when this dries, I probably will be decorating that blue to make it pop out a bit more look more like a fantasy bird whimsical bird right okie dokie that will do I think right and again of course I've got loads of paint left which you can't see but here's the noise I think I'm going to give that a second coat. I've got some of the, the blue for his eyes left, so I'm just going to go over that. You can see how the difference is that when it dries, see that's, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's quite light, it's lighter, and then when it dries, it's darker. And I haven't added any paint or anything to that, so that was still the original colour. So there, just give that, I've got enough of this mixed blue here just to do just the bits that are a bit light. Here we go. And then I'm going to 
going to do the darker blue again. Just, oops, see, I've got white in that. Take that off. When you catch your mistakes quick, you can fix them easily. Just make sure that brush is dry with the right colour this time. Right, that's better. Uh, here comes my dog. Here's something because it might start barking in a minute. Right, I'm okay, okay, just a little bit more in there. Right, okay. Sorry, that's his tail done. It's a little better. that for the moment and yes of course I have paint left. Ooh. Oh joy, oh joy, oh joy. I'm keen to waste the deco art one because it's hard to get. To Get these brought in from the USA, these ones. And no craft shops around me, so everything has to be bought online. And as I said, I'm on a spending spree at the moment, so spending freeze, not spree. I wish I was on a spree, but I'm not. That's wishful thinking. My brain is thinking, no, no, spend, spend. <laughs> I wish. Okie dokie. Right. Just tidy up my mess. Get rid of that. Oh, doesn't time fly when you're having fun? Right, okay, so I'm going to do just a little bit of gold on his eyelids. I'm not going to pour it all out this time. Okay, yeah, I think this is the first owl that I've actually done. Ever, I think. Right, little bit of gold. And watch me make a mess here. going better than expected and you shouldn't say that because you shall put the curse of the commentator on yourself. He's got one eyelid bigger than the other. Yeah, that's okay. We are all unique. There we go. Yeah, that's better. See people doing other people in other videos doing small areas, and it's just like da 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 da, bish bash bush, and it's done. Me it takes ever forever, just slow. Okay, so he's coming along. Good. And you might wonder why I haven't painted this bit yet, and that is because I have got something to go in. In fact, I might need the gold again. I'm not sure. One of the benefits of doing the template and um, tracing paper is that you can make yet another copy. So I've done this and I've made myself a little template of his body and then I traced around it and I've got this piece of, quite like that as well but it doesn't go, um, I've got this little piece of scrapbook paper here which I am going to glue down see if I can get a glue that is going to work. 
because my glues do tend to like to clog themselves up just when I need them. Oh, it's working. Must be my lucky day. So I'm going to be sticking this down on his body. It's like a little dress though, isn't it? Pretty big bear. I think this is a stamping up one. I think. I'm trying to use up papers and things that I've collected and it's, it's about time I've got rid of some of it, you know. I want to live in a tiny little flat, an apartment, so I haven't got a lot of space. Um, and I think I'm turning into a real hoarder, so it's time to really get things used. Right, so I'm going to put this down here. And I might need to touch up around certain bits, like his, his little feet there. The gold isn't far enough there. Got here in there. Yeah, so that's about, that's nice. I quite like that. Just press it, press it. Got my hair stuck to my fingers. I'm going bald! Oh no! Can't even blame the dog! It's one of mine, I think. Okay. So, that is our little owl. I think that's pretty good down there. Liking, liking. So I'm just going to touch up his feet and I'm not too worried if I get gold on the paper because see I'm going to be going over with marker anyway so let's just fill in this little bit here. Toes. I think his feet have gone a bit wonky. Yes, I think his feet have... Um, had a little bit of a makeover there. Okay, done. Put the gold away. Just put that down. And I'm up to hmm, nearly 18 minutes again. Right, okay. Uh, I hope I'm not boring you with all this videos, um, but I think I'm going to have to do a part three. So Thanks very much for watching and I shall continue in the next episode. Bye!